What is going on guys? Thanks for joining me here on my channel. Steven Sturgeon. I'll be your host for the next few minutes. Today we are looking at, yes, another tobacco-based scent. Now I actually ordered this fragrance about, um, about a month ago and it just now got here. I think the reasoning was they had run out of their then current stock of batches. And these are uh, hand bottled in New York City, and I, I think I think it just took a while to get the new batch uh, developed, cooked up, if you will, um, bottled and shipped, and yada yada yada. So it took maybe maybe not quite a month. I'd say the better part of three three weeks. Uh, but uh, so so good to finally have it here. This is the house of Nomaterra. This is a, I believe it's 50 mils. The bottle looks bigger to me for some reason, but, but um, there's an embossed, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, right there, you can see that it's inside of a room, sort of an older, uh, I don't know, turn of the century library, I believe chandeliers books fireplace i don't know if you can see that little gold emblem here with n for no Monterra. see it's got some stuff on the back <clears throat> again tobacco leaf handmade and assembled in nyc batch number i don't see a batch number written here that's kind of odd <clears throat> but um, it is an eau de parfum it says imagine the deep smoky character of tobacco leaf absolute Haitian vetiver, leather spiked with gin. Oh my god, as an essay <laughs> transports you to an overstuffed chair by the fireplace in a dimly lit tavern, rich with New England charm and history. This earthy, satisfying scent is gently peppered with aromatic green cardamom and lavender. The scent of rosebud on a gentleman's lapel is understated, yet significantly intimate. The depth of this com composition is undeniable and was inspired by memories of Boston, Harvard, the Lampoon Castle, and the Harvard Club and Commonwealth Avenue. And they sent me a bunch of little packets uh, with my order uh, like this. So I get uh, Miami Orange Blossom. This is a Lignette de Parfum Fragrance Wipe. They sent me Oahu Gardenia. I believe you can get these as perfume scents as well, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's the whole point. Orange blossom, orange blossom. Ah, honeysuckle. There's honeysuckle. And yeah, and the rest are the same. Um, let's get into it. Now, the bottle originally did come wrapped uh, in tissue paper or tissue paper. And box instruction is kind of like this. Uh, it does have some kind of barcode on the bottom. <laughs> Maybe that relates to the batch. I don't know. And uh, looks like this. No Matera fragrances. This is Boston tobacco leaf. And uh, cap is really tight it's kind of ridiculously tight but whatever very good sprayer I've already sprayed it on I will put one more here okay two and we're gonna get into the notes oops um, this I almost want to say this has like tomato leaf or something in it, but at any rate, um, officially there's there's some rose, there's grapefruit, there's neroli, again there's cardamom and basil. Uh, but you, you're going to get a strong, strong, sweet, smoky essence of that Haitian vetiver. Uh, the benzoin and the heart of the fragrance just is going to slightly couple with the tobacco. To give it a little more of a soft, round, almost ambery type touch. Uh, a certain element of the fragrance is a little bit balsamic. Or is it balsamic? Yeah, balsamic. Excuse me, I always pronounce that wrong. And 
oh man, it's 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 divine the way that tomato uh, leaf is it that's, is that right? Tomato leaf. I, I keep saying tomato leaf. I could swear there's tomato leaf. At any rate, for sure the way the basil and the rose and especially the neroli, uh, they give you that strangely herbal yet very obviously citrus touch it sits right up in the heart and then you get that tobacco and the vetiver just coming through i swear guys this to me is a top 10 tobacco scent full stop dot com all time this is one of the greatest tobacco scents on earth in my humble opinion it's refined it's strong, but not overpowering, not overbearing. It's, it has a certain amount of depth and dimension to it. It's, it's very much a three-dimensional scent and perfume. Uh, it has a certain degree of intimacy to it. It's not just a loud, I'm going to shout out to the world. But nor is it weak. This is not merely a skin scent that smells really good or has a strong signature smell. Uh, you you do get a little bit of grapefruit in here, and it adds just a little bit of that tart um, sort of pink color. You know what I mean? It's a pink citrus. It's a little bit sharp. It's a little bit bitter. But then it has a little bit of that sweetness and, uh, and almost amber touch of the benzoin uh, with that rose giving just a touch of the floral along with the neroli. And again, that vetiver, guys, it's just, it's lush, it's it's a little bit sweet, definitely a, quite a bit smoky. And that tobacco, it is a blend of really high dollar pipe tobacco, uh, cured natural tobacco style, just like maybe for a cigar. And I'd say about maybe 10% pure cigar tobacco. I would say a medium, medium, slightly, slightly spicy a slightly resinous, slightly sweet tobacco. Again, but with that depth that pipe tobacco gives. Again, there is a little bit of a gin type note in here. I don't know what that's from, but uh, that's in here as well. You can get this as a roll-on, which is all natural jojoba based oil. This launched in 2014, guys, and the nose on this, and I'm probably gonna really, really torture this name and just <laughs> absolutely make, uh, I'll probably, yeah, I'll, I'll probably horribly mispronounce the first name, and I'm for that. My sincerest apologies. It's, I believe it's Agnieszka. It's it's A G N I E S Z K A, but I'm going with Agnieszka Burnett or Burnett. And Agnieszka has also designed or developed, I believe, most of their house. Uh, all of the other scents, to my knowledge, or at least most of them, in, in the line or house of Nomaterra. Uh, for example, Brooklyn Violet Leaf, Cape Cod Wild Beach Rose, DC Cherry Blossom, East Hampton Atlantic White Cedar. Definitely want to get my nose on that. Uh, Malibu Honeysuckle, New Orleans da Datura, I've heard is very good. Miami Orange Blossom, Oahu Gardenia, and finally Savannah and Magnolia. And these all more or less dropped from 2013 to, to all the way up to 2015. Uh, was her last two, Cape Cod Wild Beach Rose and New Orleans Datura or Datura, how do you say that, uh, respectively. Uh, what a scent. This is just a fantastic fragrance. Little pricey, guys. This is going to retail out at 175 not for the faint of heart if you're on a shoestring budget, but save up your paychecks, pull the trigger, get a decant, get the 30 mil roll on, beg, beg, borrow, plead. I didn't say steal uh, or borrow a sample or a decant. Ugh, what a fantastic tobacco based scent. That's going to do it. I do think this is a little bit more of a mature scent. Great for clubbing, great, well, not, I mean, more sophisticated upscale clubs. I don't mean like you're 19 or 21 and it's a, it's a rave. No, 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 no. This is, this is like a, a multimillionaire type scent or even a billionaire type scent. This is mature, sophisticated, masculine, timeless, elegant, um, just classic. I mean, just 
absolutely phenomenal. Phenom I cannot really praise this much higher. That's enough. I'm not trying to necessarily get you on the hype train, but to me, this is a home run without a shadow of a doubt. That's going to do it, guys. If you like, please subscribe. Click the bell for future updates. Spray often, spray well. Live life on your terms, baby, not someone else's. It's either too short or too long, depending how you look at it. That's going to do it. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace out.